What made your marriage end? He came home from work, ate dinner, and said, I want you to do something, and I don't want you to fight me on this. I want a divorce. I was completely blindsided. Then he packed a bag and left for his mother's house. I made him leave his key. He didn't understand that. How will I get in the house? I replied that he had no reason to enter the house when I wasn't home. He didn't live there anymore. He was shocked. I started thinking about his integrity and the microaggressions that had recently increased for Christmas. He had given me a bottle of men's cologne. That's it. Of course, he kept it for himself. It was evident that he had given my gift absolutely no thought. So instead of begging him to stay, I emptied out the joint accounts and made an appointment with a family attorney for the next day. Of course, he wanted to drag things out. He came to get his things the same week, and I watched TV while he packed and loaded the car. He actually asked me to help. I said, this is something you want to do, not me. Before he left, I told him that I know he is still committing adultery, and that my attorney said he should be careful about that. Lots of denying and sputtering, but the thing that bothered him most was not getting a lawyer. He actually said, you got a lawyer. You know, I will always Always take care of you. Don't you trust me? By the way, he told me the reason he needed space was the children are grown now, so I don't have to pretend anymore. I never wanted a family that I had to hang out with, so that was the end. A year later, a judge granted me about a third of his assets and income as alimony until I remarry or die. We were married 32 years and I was 65 years old. I'm sitting pretty comfortably and very peacefully in a different city, except for incidental paperwork handled by my attorney. I have no contact. I don't have to pretend anymore either.